What's up YouTube? It's Coach Corey and today we got some more balance changes. Not a lot of them, but I'm going to tell you guys exactly what that means for the meta, what brawlers are going to be good now, and how those balance changes affect those brawlers. So let's get right into it. So first off, they reverted the four maps that got changed last balance changes. They added some walls on Terracotta Square, Bone Box, Cabbage Patch, and Mushroom Cave. Those four maps had some wall changes basically and they reverted those back to what they were before so those wall changes originally heavily favored tanks they made it a lot harder for long range guys to be as successful so now with them back you're going to see some more piper and some more colts and ricochet on those maps this is going to be the biggest change i would think but now let's get into the brawler changes so first off the tanks got some nerfs so bull got a health reduction about four percent now his super also charges about 25% slower. So this is a decent change for Bull. I think you're definitely going to see a little bit less of Bull. Um, I think the biggest change is honestly his super taking longer to charge. One of the best things about Bull was, yes, obviously he's a short range brawler. But once you built up his super, you were able to get back in the action quickly and get right on top of enemies and then use that to charge up your next super. So I think the biggest change now with Bull is early on, he's going to be not as effective um, as Bull sort of needs his super or to sneak up on people through the grasses to get some of his kills. So on maps where there's not a lot of grasses where he can sneak up on people, he's not going to be quite as effective early on. And then once he gets his super, um, I think it's going to take him a little bit longer to get back in the action the next time unless he has a really successful super. It's going to be interesting to see if he can still get a super back when he supers in as often. That's going to be the biggest interesting change with Bull. And then uh, El Primo also got a nerf as well. His health got reduced by about 3.3%. Um, so not a small change to El Primo, or not a big change to El Primo. I honestly think El Primo, even with the tank meta, was a little bit underwhelming to me. I still never felt that great with El Primo. He had a lot of health, but you have to get so close to someone, and then oftentimes you don't hit that many of his attacks at once. I honestly think El Primo needs a buff, but I don't think it should be with his health. I think it has to be something with his attack. Um, but El Primo, he did get a little bit of a nerf, so too bad for him. Oh well. I'm glad the tanks are getting nerfed, though. And then Daryl also got a nerf as well, but the only nerf he got was to how long it takes to charge his super. That now takes about 30% longer to charge. So this isn't a huge change for Daryl. He's still going to be really good in smash and grab. Um, he's still going to be good on all those bounty maps with the grass, but he's not going to be as good in heist. He was really, really good in heist, and a lot of that had to do with how quickly and easily he charged his super. Because he could almost just continuously super in. He could super in, get a few shots on the safe, get a few shots on some enemies, and almost have his super back again, or have it back. And he put a lot of pressure on on offense and heist. Now he's going to be a lot more balanced for heist. He's going to be a little bit worse than smash and grab. Just He's not going to be quite as versatile with where and how often he can bounce in. But oftentimes, actually, I felt like with Daryl, you didn't always have a good super available. He's not like Bull, where you can just super wherever you want. With Daryl, it's a little bit crazy, and it's hard to always have the best angle for a super, so you're not always using that right away, or there's sometimes a lot of time goes in between when you use your supers with Daryl. So we got a small nerf, but it's not going to be, it's not going to affect him that much on a lot of different game modes. And then also, Poco got a big buff. So Poco got almost a 20% health increase, got a 19% health increase. That's really going to help Poco out. Poco's going to probably be the best gem carry now in Smash and Grab. I think that's almost unquestionable, not quite. It's going to depend on if you prefer some more damage. It's going to depend on your team comp. But I would say Poco's going to be the best gem carrier now. Um, going to be a little bit better in Brawl Ball as well. A little bit better in Showdown. Going to be harder to kill Poco in Showdown now. Going to be able to escape a good amount. Uh, has a lot of health now. Um, not going to affect, Poco's still going to be good in Heist, and still not going to be that great in Bounty, it's going to depend. If it's like Snake Prairie or Outlaw Camp, I think you can use Poco on those maps. Um, some of the other really short range maps, you might see Poco, but otherwise, probably not. 
And then Piper got some changes as well. Piper got her reload speed decreased by half a second. So it's now about 17% uh, faster. And then also coupled with that, her damage got reduced by about 12%. They didn't want to have a high damage Piper just spamming off shots. Totally understandable. But overall, this should be a little bit more damage through the course of a game for Piper. Should, she should be able to get down more shots, obviously. But overall, should be a little bit more damage. I think the most interesting thing I'm looking forward to seeing with Piper is how often she now has to three shot people instead of two shot. That was one of the things that made her great is her ability to 1v1 people and not take many shots to do it. So now it's going to take a little bit more shots. And if she doesn't kill people with three shots, I mean, tank, she's not going to really do that. Um, it's going to depend on range for how often she kills people with three. I think she's still going to be able to do that for the most part. I don't think that's going to be a big problem for her. The biggest change is going to be she's probably not going to be able to two-shot people nearly as often. And that's going to be the most curious effect I'm willing to see is how much that really impacts her on whether this is going to make her really any better or is it just going to be almost unnoticeable for the change with Piper. I think the biggest change for Piper is the map changes though. Terracotta Square and Cabbage Patch were two maps that Piper used to be really good on, but with the uh, but with the wall changes, she no longer was really that great. So now she's going to be good on those maps again. So you're going to see her more in Bounty. I don't really think you're going to see her much more in other game modes. You might see her a little bit more in Smash and Grab, but you're probably not going to see her more in Brawl, not going to see her more in Heist. You might see her a little bit more in Showdown. Uh, makes her a little bit better. If she misses, she's not as dead right away she can recharge her shots a little bit faster but it's not going to be that big of a change for piper but those are the balance changes i think some of the other things you might start seeing in the meta is now that there's going to be a little bit less tanks instead of tanks as the aggro characters you might start seeing some more shelly some more nita especially nita and some more tar i think nita is going to be the best of those three right now and i'm i'm loving that Nita is awesome right now. I really like where she is. I think you're going to see more Nita on Smash and Grab, especially in Bounty. I think you're still going to be seeing a lot of Daryl. I do think you're still going to be seeing a lot of Daryl in Smash and Grab as well, as far as the tank role. I also think in Heist, since there's going to be a little bit less Daryl, it's going to be interesting to see if there's going to be more Crow. That would be my guess, is you're going to start seeing more Crow if you some of the higher trophy levels where a lot of people have Crow. Um, otherwise, I think it's not going to be a huge change. I think you're going to see a little bit less tanks in Showdown, but not that much. The health nerfs weren't that much of a nerf for them, and they're not going to use their super that much in Showdown. But that's probably going to be the biggest changes as far as the meta. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. Let me know what you think of the balance changes. Do you like these changes? Personally, I'm pretty glad I did not like the tank meta. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you later.